going to take a wee salmon fly. Um, this one that I'm going to tie is called the Executioner. Now it's just basically a derivative of a silver stoke's tail, if you like, other than what's different, just has a red body at the back. I'm going to start off tying the fly with a uni thread 8 on white, just to keep the back body as bright as a con. Use a black thread, it just shows through once it's the fly has had a swim and it's wet. The hook in the vise is a size 6, Partridge Patriot single, and black nickel. So I'm just going to come in and get my thread started behind the eye of the hook. I'm just going to run on a bit of thread here, just using my waist piece of thread to control my thread turns down. I'm just going to bring my thread down until I'm in the middle between the point and the barb of the hook. Then I'll just come in and trim away the waist tag of thread. Now the tag at the back is a flat silver tinsel and I'm going to use the uni mailer silver and gold in size 10. Now look in the silver side so just tie this in with the, the gold side facing myself. I'm just putting it into the length that I want the tag and then I'll just run my thread up tying in the, the tinsel. Now I'm just going to protect this tag at the back. I'm just going to put on a wee dab of super glue. This is a fishing fly. So I'm just going to come around with a removable silver tinsel, or sorry, my flat mailer silver tinsel, just overlapping turns. Oh, the length of the tag, and just secure that in. Then I'll just come in and remove the, the waist end. Now the tail on the fly is a golden pheasant crest feather, and the one that I'm putting on has been dyed a fluorescent yellow. So I'm just going to offer this up to the, to the hook. Just come around with a loose turn. I right, just want to bring this back on. just want to keep that curve in the feather. I just want to put it in the, the length that I want. It's just to there. Right. just want to check again the length. Yep, I'm happy enough for that. And then I'm going to trim this, the length of the body. I'm going to try and keep this body as smooth as we can. Now at this stage what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my thread up. Just hang in the cut ends. Of the crest feather. It starts to spin, just bring it back round on top. When you're tying these flies, these type of flies on single hooks, you just want to try and keep the body as smooth as you can. Now, there's a wee step here, just in behind there, where the bend the wire to form the eye. And on the way back down, I'm going to catch in my rib, and that's an oval silver tinsel and small. This is just to compensate for that. Wee gap there. That'll just fill that up a wee bit for me. And then just run my thread back down. Tying in my rib. Now, the back body. You could use red wool, just bog standard red floss. I'm going to use the uni floss in Chinese red. So, take a length of this off. Offer this up to the hook, just come around with a turn, and just pull it under the length where I want the floss. Same again, don't let the floss spin. Just come in and bring it round with your other finger. Just run it up. Then we'll come up with our Chinese red floss, a lovely floss this, nice and bright. Just want to see what way we're sitting at the back. Happy with that. And then you're just looking overlapping turns 
of your Chinese red floss up the first part of the body to there. Follow this around with my thread. Nice tight turns. Try not to get it caught around the, the eye of the hook. We'll secure that in. We'll come in and trim away the floss. Just want to make sure I'm happy with that tail. What's your arm now? Okay, the front body, just the same Mylar tinsel that we use for the, the tag at the rear. Number 10, silver and gold. Trim it like this away. Same process again, just going to tie it in with the gold side facing myself and then just run my thread up tying in our tinsel. Now just getting the that wee gap at the eye. Just where the wires formed. And then I'm going to come around with our silver tinsel. Just an overlapping turns to create the second part of the body. this around with your thread. A couple of tight turns will secure that in. Come in and trim away the excess tinsel. Then you can come up with your oval silver tinsel for your rib and you're probably looking five turns of the oval silver tinsel up the body. Follow this around with your thread. I'm going to be nice and tight with this now because this is what's holding the and we'll say that all the time, but this is basically what's holding your whole fly to gallery, your rib. Then you can come in and trim away your oval silver tinsel. Now, at this stage, I just want to switch over to the Uni Thread 80 in black. So I'm just going to come in and tie my thread up over the top of the white. Come in and trim away my white tang thread and the waist tag of the black. Some of the white thread just there. Just take that away. Now the wing is just grey squirrel tail dyed black. Some here in the stagger. Just to speed the wee tan up. So we've just got our squirrel tail here. And you want this just coming right about probably halfway into the tail. I'm just going to hold it there with my finger and thumb. I'm just going to come in and trim away the axis over my bin. Come back in and just get this as close to the shank of the hook as you can. And then just come around with a pinching loop. And then another. And then you can tighten up. Nice and tight onto the squirrel hair. Now, just come in and check. Make sure you're happy with your arm. Now squirrel has a tendency to pull out so the best thing to do is a super glue or you can use varnish. And we'll just bring this down over the just bring this down over the cut ends of the squirrel back up. Now, don't be shy with the size of the head on this fly. When you're tying singles that's the way the, the proportion it's meant to look in my opinion. Now there's wee throat. Just black cock or hand hackle. Whatever you like to use. This is just hand hackle fibers that I'm using here. So just get this and you, you want your throat fibers coming probably just halfway into your rear body, into your red part of your body. So just hold it there with my finger and thumb, and pinch and loop up the way. Right, go back in again, just slip, the, just pinch and loop it up. And I like to spin it around and just spread the 
the Faber out with my thumbnail and then I can come in get the excess Faber and just trim that away. Now at this stage it's going to bring my thread turns down over the cut ends of the hen Fabers and back up. Now you're not going too bad. If you wanted to you could put some flash into the wing. So maybe some UV flash or red. Just to finish off the wee fly. Two jungle cat eyes. Just getting these lined up in my hand. Stroking back the fibers that I don't need. And then just offer these up to the hook. Just gonna hold them onto the hook. Just come around with loose turns just to see what way you're sitting first. That one's just a wee bit far down, so I'm just gonna bring it up. You just want to make sure that these are the same length. I'm just gonna pull that one in a tad. Just checking on my side here. Just before I secure them in. Make sure that they're the, the same length. Right. Just pull that one a wee bit too far, but that's okay now. Fixed it. So, just going to tighten up. Just coming down towards the eye. I'm going to fold back the, the stems of the jungle cat. And bring my thread turns back up over the top of the stems of the jungle cock, nice and tight. Yeah, just building my head up here at the same time, just tidying everything up. Like I say, don't be afraid with the size of the head. When you're tying these types of flies now, keeping the thread tight and break away the the stems. One there didn't want to come away. I'm just going to come in and trim the excess. And there's a wee favour here. We'll trim that away. Right, I'm just going to come in through one of what finish. And then trim away the this tag of thread. And there you go folks. That's the the executioner. Just tied on a on a single. Now, just first coat on the head, as always. Super glue. And this will just seal everything up while your thread turns. Just tap the wee fly. Just last a wee bit longer. Give it a wee bit longevity. That squirrel sitting nice for me there, just really low, just a wee favour here, just want to take it away. Got it, so that squirrel wing sitting really low to the hook, the way I like it. But there you go guys, just a derivative basically of the um, Stokes tail. So I would tie them on singles, um, sorry, on doubles. Um, it's a good fly tied on a single, um, like I say these are these singles that have been tied are for a chap. So tie a few of those up on doubles. Um, hopefully they can catch you a few fish. As always guys, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you like the wee videos I'm putting together for those guys that aren't subscribed to the channel, um, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It helps the wee channel out. And until next time folks, stay safe and take lanes. Okay guys, the next wee pattern up on the channel is going to be this wee fly. And this wee fly is just a slight variation on the LC Gosling.